Imagine a world where the thoughts you hold create your entire reality, and that world has been the subject of secret government research. Today, we're diving deep into this hidden realm of consciousness, exploring government studies that prove the power of your mind to shape your life, and the ancient wisdom of Neville Goddard's law of assumption. This documentary will reveal the shocking truth that reality is far more malleable than most people realize. Comment below of any government secrets or conspiracy you've heard of. Throughout history, mystics, philosophers, and spiritual teachers have taught that human consciousness holds the key to manifestation. But what if this ancient wisdom was not just spiritual, but scientifically researched? In the late 20th century, the US government took interest in exploring altered states of consciousness, out-of-body experiences, and even the power of thought to influence physical reality. This research, known as the Gateway Process, provides compelling evidence that you can use your consciousness to create the life you desire. We'll peel back the layers of these findings and show you how this groundbreaking research ties into Neville Goddard's teachings on manifestation, specifically the law of assumption. Goddard's powerful teachings have helped thousands transform their lives through the simple but profound act of assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. What's even more astonishing is that the scientific studies from the Gateway Process reveal similar insights, our consciousness is not bound by the physical world, and it can, in fact, manipulate reality. But how did the US government get involved in studying something that seems to belong in the realm of mysticism? As declassified documents show, they weren't just interested in theoretical ideas, they were actively researching the practical application of these concepts. The gateway process blended meditation, hypnosis, and brainwave synchronization to expand human consciousness beyond the limitations of the body. Participants reported experiencing out-of-body states, altered realities, and a profound understanding that their thoughts were directly influencing the physical world. The concept of manifestation, often misunderstood, is rooted in this ability of consciousness to transcend physical barriers. What Neville Goddard called the law of assumption, modern science is now uncovering through advanced research into the brain's capabilities. Whether you believe it's the subconscious mind, a holographic universe, or the simple power of belief, the fact remains that we are more powerful creators than we've been led to believe. As we dive deeper into this documentary, we'll explore the specific studies, experiments, and personal testimonies from the Gateway Process. We'll also take a closer look at how Neville Goddard's teachings align perfectly with these findings, offering you practical steps to apply this knowledge in your life. Imagine having the tools to reshape your life, manifest your deepest desires, and understand the true nature of your reality. But before we get into the details, let's ask the big question, why was the government so interested in the power of consciousness? The answer lies in the untapped potential of the human mind. As research into altered states progressed, the military and intelligence communities saw an opportunity to enhance human performance, uncover hidden abilities, and even use these techniques for remote viewing and intelligence gathering. While this might sound like science fiction, the declassified documents provide hard evidence that these experiments were real and taken very seriously. For the government, this research wasn't about spirituality or personal development, it was about practical applications. But for us, it opens the door to a much larger truth, if we can access these altered states of consciousness, what else can we do? Can we manifest wealth, health, happiness, or success by simply assuming the feeling of already having them? The answer, as you'll soon see, is yes. In the next segment, we'll explore how the Gateway Process unlocked the secrets of out-of-body experiences and how this ties into manifestation and the law of assumption. We'll look at the science behind brainwave synchronization, energy fields, and how these all contribute to the power of human consciousness. This is where the documentary truly begins to bridge the gap between ancient wisdom and modern science. So, let's embark on this journey together, unlocking the secrets of consciousness, learning how to manifest our desires, and understanding the true power of the mind. The law of assumption isn't just a mystical concept, it's a reality backed by science, and you have the power to use it right now. The Gateway Process, Government Research into Consciousness The US government's Gateway Process was one of the most ambitious studies ever conducted into human consciousness. What began as an experiment in meditation and brainwave research evolved into a full-fledged investigation into the nature of reality itself. Led by the US Army, the Gateway Project sought to explore how the mind could access altered states, interact with non-physical dimensions, and even affect the physical world through focused intention. The Gateway Process used a combination of techniques to induce deep states of relaxation and heightened awareness. Participants were guided into specific brainwave states, primarily the theta and delta frequencies, where the conscious mind becomes more receptive to suggestion and visual imagery. 
This is the same state experienced in deep meditation or hypnosis, where the boundary between the physical and non-physical worlds begins to blur. One of the key findings of the Gateway Project was the concept of brainwave synchronization. When the left and right hemispheres of the brain begin to operate in harmony, an individual can access heightened states of consciousness, often leading to experiences that transcend the physical world. Participants in the study reported out-of-body experiences, where they perceived themselves floating outside of their bodies, interacting with other realities, and even receiving information from non-physical sources. But how does this tie into manifestation? The gateway process revealed that these out-of-body states were not just hallucinatory experiences, they had real, measurable effects on the participants' lives. By accessing these altered states, individuals were able to influence their physical reality, often manifesting changes in their personal lives, health, or circumstances. This is where we begin to see the overlap between the government's research and Neville Goddard's teachings on the law of assumption. In the gateway process, participants learned that their thoughts, when focused in these deep states, could literally shape their reality. The mind, acting as an energy field, could interact with the quantum field of possibilities, collapsing potential outcomes into actual experiences. This is remarkably similar to Neville's idea that by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, we collapse potential realities into our lived experience. What makes this even more compelling is the fact that these experiments were conducted under scientific conditions, with real-world results. Participants didn't just imagine their lives changing, they saw tangible outcomes. Some reported spontaneous healings, financial breakthroughs, and even the resolution of long-standing personal conflicts, all through the power of assumption and focused intention in these altered states. The brainwave synchronization techniques used in the gateway process are especially important for those of us looking to manifest our desires. When the brain enters a state of coherence, it becomes far more powerful in influencing reality. This is why meditation, visualization, and entering the state akin to sleep, as Neville Goddard taught, are so effective. They quiet the conscious mind and allow the subconscious, the true creator, to take the lead. As we dive deeper into the specifics of these studies, it's clear that manifestation is not just a metaphysical concept but a real, scientifically measurable phenomenon. The government's research into consciousness provides a blueprint for how we can use these same techniques to create the life we desire. Whether it's financial success, love, health, or personal transformation, the principles remain the same, assume the state of your desire, access altered states of consciousness, and watch your reality shift to match. In the next section, we'll explore how Neville Goddard's law of assumption perfectly aligns with the findings of the gateway process. We'll look at how the simple act of assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled can create powerful changes in your life and how you can apply these techniques today. Let's continue to uncover the hidden power of your mind, supported by science and proven through practice. Neville Goddard and the Law of Assumption, Bridging Science and Spirituality Neville Goddard's teachings on the Law of Assumption state that reality, is a direct reflection of our inner beliefs. According to Goddard, if you can assume the feeling of your desire already being fulfilled, the physical world must mirror that assumption. What sets Neville apart is his assertion that the subconscious mind, when convinced of a state, will arrange circumstances to make that state a reality. This is not just a hopeful belief, it's a law, as real as gravity, and backed by centuries of mystical tradition. Now, here's where things get truly fascinating. The gateway process revealed that consciousness is not confined to our physical bodies or the immediate moment. Through brainwave synchronization, meditation, and deep focus, the mind can access alternate dimensions and realities. This insight provides the scientific foundation for Goddard's teachings. The declassified documents support the idea that our thoughts are not bound by time or space. In altered states, participants experienced realities where they were no longer constrained by the limitations of their physical selves. This concept perfectly aligns with Neville's law of assumption. In the altered state of consciousness, time is malleable, and your thoughts have more influence over reality. Goddard often spoke of the state akin to sleep, a deeply relaxed condition where the conscious mind is subdued, and the subconscious is more receptive to new assumptions. When in this state, you can plant the seed of your desired outcome and watch it grow in the physical world. In many ways, Goddard's teachings and the gateway findings echo the principles of quantum physics, particularly the concept of the observer effect. In quantum physics, the act of observing or measuring a particle alters its behavior. Similarly, in manifestation, when you focus your consciousness on a desired state and assume it as real, your observation collapses the infinite possibilities into one tangible outcome. This is the key to understanding how manifestation works, not through effort or struggle, but through focused consciousness. 
Neville's idea that imagination creates reality aligns directly with what the Gateway Project discovered. The participants who experienced altered states of consciousness reported not only out-of-body experiences but also the ability to shape their personal reality. One participant described how they could see themselves living in a future where their desires were already fulfilled, and when they returned to their normal state, circumstances began to align with that vision. So, how does one apply this? The answer is simple but profound, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Neville emphasized that the process of manifestation begins in the mind. You must feel as if your desire is already achieved. For example, if you wish to manifest wealth, don't focus on how to get the money, assume the state of being wealthy. Feel what it's like to have financial abundance, and your external world will conform to that assumption. This is the bridge between science and spirituality. The gateway process shows us the mechanics of how consciousness interacts with the quantum field, while Goddard teaches us how to harness that interaction to consciously create our reality. Together, they provide a complete framework for understanding and practicing manifestation. The more you practice assuming your desires, the more you'll see the world shift in response. Neville also pointed out that this isn't something you have to try hard to achieve. In fact, effort and struggle are signs that you're not in alignment with your desire. True manifestation happens when you relax into the feeling of already having what you want. It's not about working to make it happen, it's about assuming that it's already done and allowing the universe to bring it into form. In the next scene, we'll explore specific case studies from the gateway process and how they align with Neville's ideas. These real-life examples show just how powerful this method can be when applied correctly. If you've ever wondered whether manifestation is real, the evidence we're about to share will leave no room for doubt. Experiments that prove out-of-body states and manifestation are real Let's dive into the most exciting part of the gateway research, the experiments and real-world results that prove the power of consciousness to alter reality. One of the most compelling experiments involved guiding participants into an out-of-body state through brainwave synchronization techniques. In these altered states, participants reported vivid experiences where they were no longer bound by the limitations of their physical bodies. Some described traveling to different dimensions, while others reported the sensation of existing in multiple realities at once. But the real breakthrough came when these participants returned to their normal state of consciousness and began noticing changes in their physical lives. For example, one participant, who had been struggling with a chronic illness, experienced a complete recovery after consistently practicing the techniques learned in the Gateway Project. This participant entered an altered state, imagined their body as completely healthy, and assumed the feeling of being cured. Over time, their physical body followed suit, manifesting the health they had envisioned. This aligns perfectly with Neville Goddard's teachings. Goddard often spoke of the body as a servant to the mind. If you assume the state of being healthy, your body has no choice but to conform to that assumption. In these experiments, participants were not only proving this on a metaphysical level but also on a physical, measurable level. Their thoughts and assumptions were directly influencing their health, relationships, finances, and overall life circumstances. Another remarkable experiment involved financial manifestation. Participants were instructed to enter a deeply relaxed state, similar to the state akin to sleep that Neville often referenced. In this state, they visualized themselves living in financial abundance, feeling the emotions of wealth and success as if it had already occurred. The results were astonishing. Within weeks, several participants reported receiving unexpected financial windfalls, job promotions, or opportunities that aligned with their visualized outcomes. These experiments were carefully documented, and the results were undeniable. The participants who fully embraced the techniques of assuming their desired state saw real, tangible changes in their lives. This is where we see the overlap between the scientific and the mystical. Manifestation is not just about wishful thinking, it's about shifting your consciousness to align with a new reality, and when you do, the universe bends to your will. What's fascinating, is that the participants didn't need to understand the mechanics of how it all worked. They simply needed to trust the process and assume their desired state. This is exactly what Neville Goddard taught, you don't need to know how your manifestation will come to pass, you only need to assume that it's already done. The universe, or the subconscious mind, will take care of the rest. These studies give us a glimpse into the immense power of the human mind. The government's research into out-of-body states and consciousness was more than just a theoretical exercise, it was a practical exploration into how we can use our thoughts to shape reality. 
The participants who experienced these out-of-body states realized that their consciousness could exist beyond the physical body, and in that state, they could access new possibilities and realities. But you don't need to have an out-of-body experience to manifest your desires. What these experiments teach us is that the key to manifestation lies in the assumption of your desired state. Whether you're visualizing wealth, health, love, or success, the process remains the same, enter a deeply relaxed state, visualize your desire as if it's already fulfilled, and most importantly, feel the emotions associated with that fulfillment. The more you practice this, the more natural it becomes. Over time, your mind becomes trained to assume the best, and as a result, your external reality begins to reflect that assumption. This is the power of manifestation, and it's something that anyone can access, regardless of their current circumstances. In the next scene, we'll explore how these findings apply to your everyday life. We'll give you practical tips on how to use these techniques to manifest your desires, based on both the scientific research from the Gateway Project and the spiritual wisdom of Neville Goddard. Let me know if you'd like me to continue with the remaining scenes. How to use these techniques to manifest your desires now that we've explored the scientific and spiritual insights from the Gateway Process and Neville Goddard's teachings, let's focus on how you can apply these powerful techniques to manifest anything you desire. The foundation of manifestation lies in one core principle, your inner state creates your outer world. To manifest successfully, you need to shift your consciousness to align with the state of already having what you want. But how do you do this effectively? One of the most important techniques Goddard taught was the use of the state akin to sleep. This refers to the deeply relaxed state your mind enters just before falling asleep. In this state, your conscious mind is quiet, and your subconscious becomes more open to suggestion. This is the ideal time to plant the seed of your desire. As you drift into sleep, visualize yourself living the life you desire, and most importantly, feel the emotions of already having what you want. Feel the joy, relief, excitement, or peace that comes with the fulfillment of your wish. From the gateway process, we learn that brainwave synchronization can significantly enhance this process. When your brainwaves slow down into the theta or delta range, your conscious mind is less active, and your subconscious becomes more powerful. This is why practices like deep meditation, guided visualization, and hypnosis can be so effective in manifestation. You don't need to enter an out-of-body state to benefit from these techniques, but learning how to calm your mind and access these deeper brainwave states can accelerate your results. One practical method is to set aside time each day for a short meditation session. During this time, close your eyes, breathe deeply, and allow your body to relax completely. Once you feel calm and centered, begin visualizing your desire. See it in as much detail as possible, and most importantly, feel the emotions of already having it. This emotional state is what creates the vibrational alignment with your desire. As the gateway process revealed, your thoughts are energy, and when that energy is focused in the right way, it can literally shape reality. Another technique that combines both the gateway research and Goddard's teachings is scripting. This involves writing out a detailed description of your life as if your desires have already manifested. For example, if you're manifesting a new job, you might write, I'm so grateful for my new position. I love the work I do, and I feel valued and appreciated by my colleagues. The salary allows me to live comfortably, and I feel secure and confident in my future. The key here is to write in the present tense, as if your wish has already come true. This helps to reinforce the assumption that your desire is already yours. You can also use affirmations to strengthen your assumption. An affirmation is a simple, positive statement that you repeat to yourself, either silently or out loud. Some powerful affirmations related to manifestation might include, I am worthy of all that I desire. I am the creator of my reality, or everything I want is already mine. Repeating these affirmations regularly helps to shift your mindset and reinforce the belief that your desires are already on their way. The gateway process showed that our minds are capable of much more than we realize. By accessing altered states of consciousness, we can tap into a deeper level of reality where our thoughts and feelings have a direct influence on the world around us. This is the key to manifestation, aligning your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs with your desired outcome. When you consistently assume the state of your desire, your subconscious mind will begin to create circumstances that align with that assumption. It's important to note that manifestation is not about forcing or controlling your external circumstances. Rather, it's about changing your internal state. When your inner world changes, your outer world will naturally follow. This is why Neville Goddard emphasized the importance of imagination and feeling. 
Your imagination is the gateway to infinite possibilities, and your feelings are the key to bringing those possibilities into reality. In the next scene, we'll delve deeper into brainwave synchronization and how you can use it to enhance your manifestation practice. Whether through meditation, visualization, or other techniques, learning to access deeper states of consciousness will help you manifest faster and with greater ease. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the incredible power of your mind. The power of brainwave synchronization in manifestation One of the most powerful techniques uncovered by the gateway process was the use of brainwave synchronization to enhance manifestation. But what exactly is brainwave synchronization, and how does it help us create the reality we desire? Let's break it down. Brainwaves are the electrical patterns created by neurons firing in the brain, and they operate at different frequencies depending on our mental state. The most common brainwave states are beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Each of these states has a unique effect on our consciousness. The beta state is what most of us experience during our normal waking hours. This is the state of logical thinking, problem solving, and external awareness. While beta is important for functioning in daily life, it's not ideal for manifestation because the conscious mind is often filled with doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. To manifest effectively, we need to access the deeper brainwave states where the subconscious mind becomes more active. The alpha state is the next level down, and is often associated with light meditation, relaxation, and creativity. In the alpha state, the conscious mind begins to quiet down, and we become more receptive to new ideas and possibilities. This is a great state for visualizing your desires and planting the seeds of manifestation. However, to truly unlock the power of your subconscious, you want to go even deeper into the theta and delta states. Theta brainwaves are associated with deep meditation, hypnosis, and the state akin to sleep that Neville Goddard often referred to. When you're in theta, your conscious mind is almost completely turned off, and your subconscious takes the lead. This is the ideal state for reprogramming your mind and aligning with your desires. In fact, the gateway process found that participants who could consistently enter the theta state were able to achieve out-of-body experiences, heightened awareness, and even spontaneous manifestations of their desires. But what's even more fascinating is the delta state. Delta brainwaves occur during deep, dreamless sleep, but they can also be accessed through deep meditation or brainwave synchronization techniques. In Delta, your body and mind are in a state of complete rest, and your consciousness is able to connect with the infinite field of possibilities. This is where true magic happens, where your thoughts and feelings can directly influence the quantum field and create real changes in your physical reality. So how do you access these deeper brainwave states to enhance your manifestation practice? One method is through meditation, as we've already discussed. But there are other tools you can use, such as binaural beats or isochronic tones. These are audio tracks designed to induce specific brainwave states by playing two different frequencies in each ear. The difference between these frequencies creates a synchronization effect in the brain, allowing you to enter alpha, theta, or delta states more easily. For example, if you want to reach the theta state, you might listen to a binaural beat with a frequency difference of 5 Hz, which corresponds to the theta range. As you listen, your brain waves will naturally begin to synchronize with that frequency, helping you enter a deep, meditative state where manifestation becomes more powerful. This is a technique used in the gateway process, and it's available to anyone with access to these audio tools. Another method is to practice mindfulness throughout the day. While deep meditation and brainwave synchronization are effective tools, you don't need to be in a trance to manifest your desires. Simply becoming more aware of your thoughts, feelings, and assumptions can have a profound effect on your reality. The more you practice being present and mindful of your inner state, the more aligned you'll be with your desires, even in your waking, beta state. The key to brainwave synchronization and manifestation is consistency. Just as you wouldn't go to the gym once and expect to be in perfect shape, you need to practice regularly to see the best results. Set aside time each day for meditation, visualization, or listening to brainwave audio tracks. Over time, you'll find it easier to access these deeper states of consciousness, and your manifestations will become more effortless. In the next scene, we'll explore the concept of parallel realities and how the gateway process revealed that our consciousness can access multiple dimensions. We'll also look at how this ties into the law of assumption and the idea that all possibilities already exist in the quantum field. Breaking the illusion of physical reality, parallel realities and the holographic universe as the gateway process delved deeper into the nature of consciousness, researchers began to explore the possibility that reality itself might be an illusion. 
This idea aligns with ancient spiritual teachings, quantum physics, and the law of assumption, which all suggest that the physical world is not as solid and unchangeable as it seems. In fact, reality may be more like a hologram, where every possibility already exists, and what we experience is simply a projection of our consciousness. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries in the gateway process was the theory that our universe is a vast hologram, with infinite parallel realities existing simultaneously. This means that every possible version of your life already exists, and the version you experience is determined by your state of consciousness. When you change your assumptions and align your consciousness with a new reality, you essentially jump to a different timeline where that reality is already true. This concept is closely related to the idea of the observer effect in quantum physics. In the quantum world, particles exist in a state of potentiality until they are observed. The act of observation collapses this potential into one definite state. This is similar to what happens when you assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. By focusing your consciousness on the desired outcome, you collapse the infinite possibilities into one tangible reality. The holographic universe theory suggests that our consciousness is not limited by time or space. In fact, time itself may be an illusion. In this model, all moments in time, past, present, and future, exist simultaneously. This means that the future you desire already exists in some dimension of reality. By aligning your consciousness with that future, you can bring it into your present experience. This is exactly what Neville Goddard taught in his lectures and books. Neville often spoke of the importance of assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, as if it had already happened. He explained that when you do this, you are shifting into a parallel reality where that desire is already a fact. You don't need to worry about how it will come to pass, your only job is to assume that it's already done and trust that the universe will rearrange itself to match your assumption. In the gateway process, participants who experienced out-of-body states reported accessing different dimensions or parallel realities. Some described seeing versions of themselves living in completely different circumstances, different jobs, relationships, and even different physical locations. This suggests that our consciousness is not confined to a single reality, but can move freely between different timelines, depending on our focus and assumptions. But how do we apply this knowledge to manifestation? The first step is to understand that you are not creating something from nothing. Instead, you are shifting your consciousness to a version of reality where your desire already exists. This is why Neville emphasized the importance of imagination. Your imagination is the tool you use to access these parallel realities. When you imagine yourself living your desired life, you are essentially tuning into a different dimension of reality. This is also why it's so important to feel as if your desire is already fulfilled. The emotions you feel are the vibrational frequency that aligns you with your desired reality. When you feel the joy, peace, or excitement of already having what you want, you are energetically matching the reality where that desire is true. This is how you shift timelines, through your thoughts, feelings, and assumptions. It's important to note that this process is not about escaping your current reality or denying your present circumstances. Rather, it's about recognizing that reality is fluid and that you have the power to shift into a new experience. Every moment is an opportunity to choose a new reality through your thoughts and feelings. The more you practice assuming your desired state, the more your external world will reflect that assumption. In the next scene, we'll explore real-life success stories of people who have applied these principles to manifest incredible changes in their lives. From financial breakthroughs to miraculous healings, these stories will show you that the law of assumption and the power of consciousness are real, and they can work for you too. Manifesting your future through consciousness throughout this documentary, we've explored the fascinating intersection of science and spirituality, uncovering the hidden power of consciousness, and the law of assumption. From the groundbreaking research of the gateway process to the timeless wisdom of Neville Goddard, we've seen that manifestation is not just a metaphysical concept, it's a real, practical tool that anyone can use to create their desired reality. The key takeaway from both the government's research and Neville's teachings is that your consciousness is the most powerful force in the universe. Whether you're trying to manifest wealth, health, love, or success, the process is the same, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled, align your thoughts and emotions with that state, and trust that the universe will bring it to you. This is not magic, it's the natural law of how consciousness interacts with reality. We've seen how brainwave synchronization, meditation, and visualization can help you access deeper states of consciousness where manifestation becomes easier. We've also explored the concept of parallel realities and the holographic universe, showing that every possible version of your life already exists. Your job is to choose the reality you want by aligning your consciousness with that outcome. 
When you do, the universe will rearrange itself to match your new state of being. That's it for today. Until next time like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss our life-changing videos.